Since its inception in 1926, Route 66 has been an icon of the American West and a defining element of the American experience. Route 66 provides a fantastic lens to teach all of the themes of American history. And they were having a convention, and they said, well, no, a woman doesn't come. There's no women. And so they put this man beside me. I don't know who he is. Route 66 affected people from all walks of life, from all races and ethnic groups. And the migration, the movement, the travel along the road really demonstrates how America changed in the 20th century. We brought up resting. Filling stations were actually an important place, especially for African-American travelers and Mexican-American travelers that often weren't allowed to stay at certain hotels. So a lot of filling stations, like the three filling station here, they were a place where African-American travelers could actually stop, park their car behind, and spend the night if they had to. My role in the project was to take the three films that we have related to Route 66 and turn them into lesson plans. Our lesson plans follow the documentary exactly, so we have one lesson plan for each of the three episodes, and then we also have some thematic lesson plans, such as our women and mobility lesson. And in the um, second picture, I saw some people said that they might represent uh, freedom for the driving rights of women because she's uh, depicted with a car and seems a lot happier. What makes our lesson plans and the documentary unique is the use of oral histories. Videos are incredibly impactful in the classroom and for students, and all of our lesson plans include either a full episode from the documentary or video clips that tie directly to the theme. 66 created a thriving environment for business. My name is Irene Montaño, and I'm the daughter-in-law of uh, Lucia Rodriguez, who was the original owner of Meet La Cafe. Lucia didn't have a formal education. She um, came from Mexico with her husband. She had her children. She didn't speak English, but she could tally up totals of math in her head like nobody's business. While our lesson plans might seem obvious for a history or social studies classroom, I think the themes we touched on could actually be relevant in a language arts, sociology, ethnic, and gender studies classes. Something that was really important to me was to make these resources edible and easy for teachers to access. So all of our lesson plans are available in Google formats, either in Google Slides or in Google Docs, and teachers are able to make a copy and edit it and make it work for their students. I'm thrilled that we're offering these lesson plans in English and Spanish. Uh, in many dual language immersion classes, social studies is actually taught in Spanish. All of our lesson plans offer some core activities for students. You're gonna have five minutes, we'll see, we'll see if we can do it in five minutes longer. To walk around, you need to look at every source and you need to put at least two post-its on every source. You don't have to do all three. The first is primary source analysis. We offer primary sources for every single one of our plans that are associated either with the theme or the time period. It's an advertisement, so they were trying to express that if you have a good car, your life could be easier and you could do stuff easier. We also offer a secondary source reading and note-taking and worksheets and graphic organizers. Uh, each of our lesson plans align with the ELA Common Core Standards as well as the C3 Social Studies Standards. We also offer assessments with rubrics. Something you might want to think about for your scripts is that being told you can't do something is a great launching point for a journey. I also really like our group work projects because they can be easily adapted to a differentiated classroom or for even younger students. What makes teaching history really exciting is that we get to work with young people who are learning to look at primary sources, to ask critical questions, to wonder about the past and connect it to our present. International visitors come by the tens of thousands, hungry for an American experience. That is incredible. They came from grandma's pancake parlor. Gosh. <laughs> history is essential to a democracy. Knowing about history and also more importantly, being able to critically examine and re-examine history are essential skills for every citizen.